and welcome to my latest What Sold video. This is actually going to be for two weeks because I am a little behind in my What Sold videos. Um, hello again, my name is Trisha and I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, and ThreadUp. And uh, my store name is Sandy and Auto. And this is going to be for the weeks of June 11th through the 17th, and also for June 18th through the 24th, uh, 2020. And uh, had a lot of things outside of reselling going on and um, have not been um, listing as much as I should be on eBay, have not been uh, sharing my closet as much as I should be on Poshmark. And for the past two weeks, uh, my sales have suffered a little bit because of that. So um, this week, uh, been doing much better at that, um, have gotten some things resolved, and so moving forward, um, being positive, moving forward. Uh, so I'm going to go through in the first week, which is June 11th through the 17th, I had 14 sales. Um, nine of them were eBay, two were Poshmark, and three were Thread Up. And then in the second week, June 18th through the 24th, I had 13 sales, 10 were on eBay, two on Poshmark, and one on Etsy. So let's get down to the details of each of the weeks. And uh, up first is this um, Roosevelt's Little White House. This was a souvenir um, coffee mug of Eleanor Roosevelt, and it showed uh, pictures on here throughout her life. And down at the bottom, um, this was a Warm Springs, Georgia, was where they resided after the presidency. And um, I did end up taking a best offer of $8 on this item because uh, it was just a little coffee mug, little souvenir piece, and you know, sales. Um, are another way to help um, kind of generate um, your position, I think, in the algorithms and the searches that people do. I, I don't know everything about eBay. Um, I just feel like when you are accepting sales, when you um, have, like I have uh, promoted listings on all of my eBay items. So I have a, I pay a 2% um, fee on top of the final value fee on an item that sold through a promoted listing. So when you see listings that are sponsored, those are the promoted listings. And this week I did have two um, of the nine eBay items sell on promoted listings. And I will mention those. Um, this is a, um, uh, top that um, I was doing some um, online kind of sourcing um, because I could not get out to the thrift stores and I really I'm still not even sure if I want to go out to thrift stores right now um, but I did pick this up through that and uh, very happy that there was interest in it right away um, this was an Ann Taylor Loft linen top and it was a size large, and I did end up accepting a best offer of $16.99 on this item. Also want to mention with my eBay items that the buyer pays shipping on all items. I do not have free shipping on my items. And next item is this really cute vintage, oops, let me get back. Here we go. This vintage uh, peacock vase. Um, most likely it was, um, I'm going to say transfer on this. I do not believe this was hand painted. Um, it didn't have a date or age or maker or anything on the bottom of it. It was just blank. So I'm not quite sure of the age of it. It did have, and I, as I mentioned up above here in my listing, it did have some fading. And I did take pictures of that to kind of show 
how um, there was a little bit of fading there. Any kind of condition issues on items I do like to mention. And I mention up here in the condition and I also will mention down here in the listing. Again, depending on if people are looking on this on PCs or tablets or mobile, it kind of shows in different ways. And so I like to make sure I'm putting it in both places in case people only see this top portion here, this top portion of it, um, then they are at least able to see any condition issues that they might want to then look into further. Um, so this one sold, I believe I send an offer to Likers, which I will do a lot of times and take an extra 10% off. And so this one sold for $13.49 and this one did sell through um, a promoted listing. And this was a really cute um, vintage metal um, jewelry tree, like an earring tree. And uh, this one sold for $9.99. And um, in here, again, um, pictures I think are really important to show that this did have some wear on it. Probably not something I would use to house my earrings in, but definitely a great decorative piece for somebody who's really doing um, a house with like some 70s flair to it. Um, this was made in the USA. It was Revere manufactured. And uh, next item is this really cute mini handbag. This was Steve Madden and it did have Steve Madden, let's see, here on the buckles and then it had a little tag on it and then it also had it on the inside. So it was uh, well decorated with <laughs> Steve Madden. Um, but I really liked this design. It was a very sweet, oops, there we go, sweet little embroidery on it. And I took a best offer of $12 on this one and this one also sold through a promoted listing. Uh, this was a really nice shirt. This is when I really wish you could um, feel texture through your computer. <laughs> um, maybe one day we'll be able to do that. But this was 100% silk and so it felt fabulous um, on. And it had this really pretty, which was so hard to see, this really pretty kind of, again, like a reptile snake type design on it and trying to get the camera to pick up just right. You can see, oops, here I tried to get a little bit of that sense to try get the light to kind of reflect on it to see it, but it was so pretty and it felt so nice. Um, this was a size small and it did sell for the sale price of $23.99. I did, um, this most likely was closer towards the weekend, and so I do run run sales usually every weekend because um, I think more people are on um, the sites looking to shop kind of Friday through Sunday. And this was a really fun print to sell kind of as we're starting the summer season to sell a winter print. Um, but this was a really nice, this was a, a distressed kind of frame, um, but I like the mixed metal kind of look, even though it was painted um, wood, it had um, that nice kind of gold and copper and kind of bronzy colors going on. Um, that went really well with the trees in here. Um, and you can see here that we have the little snowman and the dog in the park and the trees and a building and just the kids playing. Um, really fun subject matter. And this also sold for the sale price of $12.79. Uh, this was really interesting and, and very hard to describe because it felt like clay, but I'm not 100% sure it was clay. Um, it was also very small. This was like a paperweight. Um, it, it definitely had weight to it that you, you could use it as a paperweight. 
um, but it was three and a quarter inches long by about two and a half inches high. So it was very small, but so much detail in here. Um, the, the detailing on the fabric. And again, I'm not sure if this was like maybe actual fabric that had been treated in some way after it was um, put over maybe some clay, but the detailing on here is just incredible. Incredible, which maybe makes me think maybe this was like some painted canvas over clay or something. It was very, very hard to describe. It did have a little felt bottom on it. Uh, and this one sold for a best offer of $12. And my last eBay item for that week was this, oh, let me get back here to the beginning, was this really nice um, halter top swimsuit. It was a 4 um, XL size, but this had everything going on. This was phenomenal. So you had this beautiful halter top with this flowing skirt. Underneath was a full body and shorts. Um, really nice shorts. So very concealing, um, but very structured well and it was well sewn together. It did not have a label in it so I wasn't sure who made it unfortunately. I would love to know who made this because I would definitely like to find more of these items. This was put together so well. It was so pretty. It was again another item that was really hard to capture in pictures how how fabulous this item was. Um, but I did accept a best offer of $40 on this. Um, and I hope the, the buyer is very happy with that because it is it was lovely. Um, on to my Poshmark sales. Now, interestingly, on Poshmark, I had two sales and neither of them were uh, clothing. They were um, like, home decor items, which I love selling on Poshmark. People are really going to um, Poshmark looking for home decor, and I, it's another great way to sell things, especially for shipping costs, which I love. That's the one kind of, it's like, yes, on clothing, sometimes on lightweight items, Poshmark shipping is not great, but on housewares, you can ship up to five pounds for $7.11, which you can't even do for one pound on eBay. I mean, you know, realistically, you can't do that on eBay for one pound. And so when you're selling a picture like this, which had a good size to it, this was 17 by 15. This was, this was a nice sized print. Um, to be able to ship this for $7.11 is just insane. It's fantastic. Um, so if you're not selling your home decor items on Poshmark, please do because people are looking for them and they're getting a steal on shipping costs. Um, so this was a this was a great one. This was very very nicely framed. You can see on the back here, very clean, very professionally framed, and luckily it did have some um, information on the back which led me to be able to find the artist, um, Isabel, I'm not gonna say the last name cause I'm gonna mispronounce it. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a really, really nice print um, and really fun for that farmhouse look. It's very unique. And the other item I sold was this orchid pot but definitely had like a thousand and one uses for it. I love finding these. Um, these are a German company and they make these really heavy, heavy ceramic orchid pots. Very, very well made, very thick um, glazing on them. And you can see the beautiful texture of this. Great for mid-century modern, and um, could be used for paint brushes, could be used for pens and pencils or um, art pencils, um, even just your, your scissors, uh, makeup brushes. 
I think these would look great in kitchens as a utensil holder uh, because again if you have that like mid-century um, look going in your kitchen a lot of these um, the colors that they use go great. Um, I do have more for sale of these <laughs> because again I pick them up but it's nice because they have them I've had them in purple and pink and blue and different shades of green um, a silver one there's just you know and again great uses for them um, besides orchid pots uh, so this one did sell for seventeen dollars and then on to th my three um, thread up sales for the week and with thread up I don't count them as sold until they've I've actually received um, my payment for them and so this item sold for $37.99 and it sold with a 20% off uh, coupon code and so my portion of the sale was seven dollars and thirty cents which you know there's debate i know with thread up selling i like selling on thread up because i don't have to photograph it i don't have to do the listing i don't have to store it and i don't have to ship it and all i do is sit back and thread up sends me money and so for that when you consider how you know you can take your your percentage out of of you know how long it took you to photograph it measure it list it store it ship it the supplies and everything may not be that much but in the long run that stuff adds up and having another outlet where i can just send things to thread up and they do it all and i just get the money in the long run I think it's worth it although this item being a retail price of $48 probably not this brand again I would probably go ahead and sell this one myself um, this was a lily dress this was a 2x um, it had lots of favorites on there lots of interest in this dress um, it sold you can see for $47.99 there was a 20% off coupon used and so I received $11.14 on this one and then this one was a J Crew. this was a size 20 uh, this sold for $54.99 again with a 20% off coupon and so my portion was $14.52 that I received and so those were my sales for June 11th through the 17th. And so I will say that that was a total of $229.21 when I take out the fees and my cost of goods, which I annualize average out to $2.25 an item. My profit for that week was $177.60. Uh, so we're going to move on to the week of June 18th through the 24th and I had 13 sales that week. I had 10 of them on eBay and six were through promoted sales. Two on Poshmark and one on Etsy and I'm going to start with my Etsy sale which was this really pretty very long um, full length Olga nightgown this was a size large which even in the 90s size large was a little different measurements and so I do include the measurements um, as I did on eBay um, I include the measurements on uh, my items and I do have all these items cross listed but um, vintage clothing um, does sell well on Etsy and so this one um, sold for let me get this right this one sold for $110 um, these full-length Olga nightgowns are in very high demand um, especially when they are in fantastic condition this one looked like it had barely even been worn um, you can see here I try to <laughs> you can see the behind the scenes of my my pretend little photo booth here um, but it did go all the way down to the floor it had beautiful detailing in it and the lace was just in fantastic condition 
Um, here's the label on it. Um, I don't know for sure, but my guess is that this was from the 90s. Um, that's the other label. And then here's a picture of the back of it. And then I also did the side view of it. But this was just, it was lovely. It was absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of demand for these um, full length gowns. And um, when you find them, you know, definitely pick them up. Um, they are around. Um, they're very popular still um, because they are, they're, they're gorgeous. Um, how could they not be popular? Um, and then moving on to eBay sales. Again, um, as I said, I had 10 total eBay sales and six of them were through promoted listings. And I'm going to try to remember to point all those out. And again, the buyer pays shipping on all of the items. And so these, um, I um, got a best offer of $16.99 for this set of two boxes. This is Susan Winget boxes. And I believe these were sold at Joann's. I think that's where I picked these up. And this was um, a specific type of bird. This was the Northern Lapwing um, bird. And each of the boxes um, had the similar design to them. Very pretty boxes. And they just, did I take it? Oh yeah. And so they opened up and they had a little magnet um, closure on them. And so I believe, yeah, I picked these up at Joann's, I'm pretty sure. And so these were sold through a promoted listing. Uh, next up are these Kerr nail um, base coat, top coat, drying and smudging um, for nail care. And these sold for $39.99. And the one thing, and I think these are the same as the nail polish. Um, you cannot ship them on, um, they can't go first class because that could be airmail. They can't be sent priority mail because that is airmail. Um, so they have to be sent parcel post. Um, and you cannot list nail products on Poshmark because everything on Poshmark gets sent priority mail. And because of the chemical content in nail polishes, they cannot be sent airmail. They have to be sent ground transportation. Uh, so do keep that in mind uh, when you are listing nail polishes to avoid violating um, anybody's policy. Next item, this was a really fun, again, a very mid-century modern piece. This is an ashtray, um, but again, it could be used for all kinds of different items. It's a, it's a good trinket tray. It's just a good conversation piece. Could even be used as a coaster or like a nut dish. Um, uh, this one was fun because um, of the pheasant design, very man cave-ish. Um, or study um, type design. And this was when uh, they were putting 22 karat gold in the paint um, to give it more of that vibrant look. This one did have some wear issues. Um, so I would imagine it was probably heavily used and heavily washed, uh, but the pheasant design was great on it. Um, so a very fun accent piece. And this one sold for, I guess, for, sold for $19.99. And this was a really nice tankini top. Um, the brand, I guess, XOXO um, had some really nice ruching on it. Uh, so I did include that. So it was very nicely gathered here and um, gathered on the sides. The back had a really pretty um, cutout feature there. And um, this was really just a nice piece trying to describe it could be kind of tribal, Aztec, um, put the coloring in it because it was really hard to tell that this was actually kind of more of a green. It looks kind of blackish 
um, but it was more of green and gold than what it kind of looked like in the pictures, which was like black and brown. Um, but this one did sell for $18.99, and it did sell through a promoted listing, and this was a size small. Uh, this one was a size 14, and um, it was really nice um, quality to it, Sunshine Zone, don't know who they are, um, but you can tell that the top was a little more faded than the bottoms, like the top had been worn a little more, a little more sun, a little more chlorine, oops, to fade that just a little bit. Um, but still had lots of good wear um, left to it. Here's the back of it. Really cute design, but in really, really good condition. Um, so that one sold for, that one sold for $9.99? No, this one, I took a best offer of $7 on this one because of the little extra fading on that. Uh, this was beautiful. This was a teapot. Uh, Casa Bella Gans, and it had chickens, it has strawberries, it has plaid, um, it has a lot going on on it, had no chips or cracks anywhere, and I looked and looked and looked and looked to make sure, um, and I did take pictures here of the lid of the interior and of the pot, so you can see it was nice and clean inside. Um, but also to show no chips or cracks on it. And then here is the bottom of it. And this one did sell for, I believe I sent an offer out and it sold for $19.92 and it did sell through a promoted listing. Here's an Odagiri mug. Uh, this was a nice style because it was very tall. Um, not, not as wide um, but I like the, the taller, slender and taller, and a really, really pretty seaside um, boat design on there. No chips or cracks on this, and it did have on the bottom that this was um, Odagiri. And this did sell for $9.83, and it did sell through a promoted listing. Uh, these are the kinds of mugs that I really enjoy finding at, um, at Goodwill. And this one was this Clouds Fulsum. Um, it was dated 2005, hand-painted, beautifully, um, you know, here's the wisteria part, uh, wisteria hummingbird. Even the handle was painted, and the inside um, also was painted. And then here is the bottom of it. And this one, I believe I was running a sale at the time. Um, and it, it sold for $24.50. So I believe that was a combination of a sale and a best offer on that one. And this was really fun. This was a Pier 1 item. It was a button front skirt. You can see here, my camera tends to wash out just a little bit when it does some close-ups, but it was a uh, button front. It was a size small, and this was a little vintage, so the small was even really small. And I did put um, in here, I'll scroll down just a little bit here, that I did put the waist measurement because it was like a 13 across, which would be like a 26 maybe a 27 inch waist, um, but in laying um, the hem width, that was, that was the amazing thing is there is so much fabric in this skirt. It is crazy. When you pull it out like this and pull it both sides all the way out, it is um, 10 feet. The hem is 10 feet. It's, it's crazy how much fabric this is. And if you're just looking for um, some rayon fabric to do something else with, this was a great deal because you got a lot of fabric in this one. Um, but it did have a, in one of the seams of it, it did have a one and a half inch tear um, in it. So I did make a note of that. Although 
I don't think I even noticed it when I was prepping it and when I was getting it ready for pictures. I think it was after I had taken the pictures that I noticed it. And so that's when I made sure I put the mention in there. This one did sell while it was on sale for $10.79. And this one ended up being, I think the cheapest way I could ship this was, and it would fit in a um, padded flat mailer. So I did ship it that way. And this was my last eBay sale of the week. Um, this was a Russ kind of angel girl. She was October. And I know for people who collect, you know, all of the months or just October, um, this could be a really interesting one-off. Her expression was just, <laughs> I'm not even sure what's going on there with that expression. Uh, <laughs> but the only thing with her that I did mention and take several pictures of was some of her petals had been chipped off. But I figured for somebody who was a collector of either this style or, or for October, this would be a great addition. And then they could go look for one that maybe didn't have as many um, petals broken off. But at least that they could have this one and enjoy it for a while. And this one ended up selling for, I took another 10% off. Um, this was an offer to Likers through a promoted listing, so it sold for $7.19, which I thought was fair because of her broken petals. Um, and again, onto Poshmark sales, not a piece of clothing, but this really fun platter, um, which was very clothing-inspired um, platter. This was sold by Nordstrom, and this was a Ruben Toledo, which it's signed right here. Um, Ruben Toledo, and I do have a little picture close up of that. Um, this was in perfect condition. I was very tempted to keep this for myself, but then ended up deciding to sell it. And I did sell it for $19. And hey, here we go Poshmark piece of clothing. Last um, sale I'll talk about for this week. This was a um, signature by Levi Strauss. This was a pair of size 20 short jeans, um, which was a unique size and um, knew that, that they would be um, looking for the right buyer on here. And again, with just like with uh, my eBay listings, I do include um, information I can find on the label plus the um, fabric content and then the measurements of the items here. Um, I do include all of that when I list clothing. I feel it saves on a lot of questions that can come up if you include all of that from the start. I do also try to, I've been doing a better job of it, including a picture of the, the hem, although I'm I think still trying to figure out exactly how best to photograph that because I think people really do want to see how much wear is on the bottom if they were dragging on the ground or not. And so I do include that along with pictures of the labels on the inside and especially the ones that are printed like this style on the inside. I feel this is another very important picture to take because these tend to wear off um, fairly easily in the wash. And so I think it lets people see how many times maybe they were worn or washed. Um, to how that um, how the condition of this wording is on the inside of the hem. Um, so I think those are kind of the important pictures to take. And these did sell for a best offer of $15. And so for uh, this week, for the 13 items that I sold, um, my sales were $319.20 with my profit of $245.42. So for the two weeks combined, that's 27 items. My cost of goods was $60.75 because of my $2.25 per item annual annual <laughs> um Oh gosh, whatever I'm trying to think of there. Uh, my fees were $96.90 
my total sales were $548.41 with a profit of $423.02 for those two weeks. So thank you for watching um, this kind of extended uh, two-week edition um, to try to get caught up again on my What Sold videos. Um, Again, for all the subscribers, thank you so much. Um, I truly appreciate you uh, helping me build this channel. And I will definitely be adding, now that I'm getting back on track of things and things are calming down again, I will be getting back to doing some more um, thread up videos because I do believe I have four more bags that are kits. I should say four more kits that have gone through the entire process. And so I will be doing um, videos um, analyzing those where we'll go through the items that have um, sold. And I'll go into that in more detail. And if you enjoy this type of content and other types of content <laughs> um, that I'm kind of putting out there, um, please feel free to um, comment, like, um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there while you're enjoying the summer. And I will talk to you next time.